Welcome to the We On Podcast. You know, it's easy to sometimes think of space exploration as uh, just a few really big players. Mm -hmm. But some recent news really highlights this growing trend, you know, international collaboration. Yeah. We've got some interesting details here about a European nation joining a, well, a pretty significant global effort. That's right. Focused on peaceful and transparent use of space. Exactly. Uh, Sweden has become the latest country to sign the Artemis Accords. Oh. Ah. The 38th, actually, to be exact. 38th. Wow. Yeah. The signing just happened this past Tuesday, April 16th, in Stockholm. Okay. The Artemis Accords. Right. So these are the guidelines uh, sort of connected to the Artemis program. Yeah. The one aiming to get humans back to the moon. That's the one. Yeah. yeah. Essentially, they're um, a framework guidelines for international cooperation in space exploration. Right. NASA kicked them off a few years back, laying out principles for how nations can work together. It's okay. And what's interesting is why Sweden felt this was important now. Yeah. What's the driver there? Well, their Minister for Education uh, specifically mentioned it strengthens their strategic space partnership with the U.S. Ah, uh, okay, strategic. Yeah, which brings benefits not just for, you know, space research and the space industry over there, but also, interestingly, for Sweden's overall defense capabilities. Huh. So it's like much broader than just pure science exploration then. Exactly. It's more than just flags and footprints this time around. Right. Sounds like there are some real... Uh, strategic advantages to being part of this group. Definitely. And it's uh, it's quite a club already. Yeah, 38 nations. Yeah, from all over the globe, really. Europe, Asia, Africa, the Americas. Mm. It really underscores this uh, growing consensus around a collaborative future for exploring space openly, responsibly. Yeah, open, transparent, responsible, peaceful. Seems like a significant step towards a more coordinated approach, doesn't it? It certainly looks that way, a shared vision. Interesting stuff. Well, stay tuned to the Weon podcast for more such intriguing stories to come.